All right, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Big Rich, Queens, New York City, where we get busy. Sunday evening business. Now, this is the craziest story I've ever heard. I got it emailed to me by a couple of people. I don't know what's going on. I try to contact the Buffalo Chronicle, email them to see who wrote the story, but it's come. this story is coming out of the way of the Buffalo Chronicle, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, come on in, wipe your feet on the rug, throw some smoke in the atmosphere. I just lit up the last of my Joker number 70 or 80. I forget what the hell it was. It was delicious, and it is the end, and it's time to say goodbye. But it was a wonderful journey. According, according to the Buffalo Chronicle, <laughs> and I'm going to say allegedly a lot in this article, how a Philly mob boss stole the election and why he may flip on Joe Biden. Again, I don't know how true this is, but <laughs> you know. The innermost circles of the American mafia are abuzz. The boss of the Philly mob, Skinny Joey Merlino, is taking a victory strut, hobnobbing around the highest echelons of old-time mafia folk, mostly in Florida, describing what may have been the heist of the century, the 2020 presidential election. The feat is drawing praise from far-flung corners of the Italian-American business community, which sees the thanks of a grateful administration as key to the revival of the community's political influence. But an associate says that Merlino might just be willing to flip on Joe Biden and the Pennsylvania political operatives who ordered up some 300,000 election ballots marked for Biden. The source alleges that Merlino and a lean team of associates manufactured those ballots at a rate of $10 per ballot, a whopping $3 million for three days' worth of work. <laughs> this is crazy. They were then allegedly packed into a nondescript cardboard box and dropped off outside the Philadelphia Convention Center. Sources who spoke to the Chronicle on the condition of anonymity says that Merlino picked up those ballots from two private households where a trusted handful of associates were busy marking ballots with Sharpie markers. They were paid more than a 1000 per hour, often producing thousands of ballots every hour for more than 60 nearly consecutive hours. The ballots were purchased in cash. It's thought that the Democratic Party operatives working inside Philadelphia's election office, provided Merlino with crates of raw ballots just hours before polls closed on election night, which he transported to two private households in South Philadelphia. By 10 p.m. that night, Merlino's operation was already generating more than 3,000 ballots per hour, which quickly scaled to more than 6,000 ballots per hour before midnight. But now, Merlino might just be willing to flip on Biden, in primetime congressional testimony, if President Donald J. Trump is willing to issue the longtime mobster a full expungent of his decades-long criminal record. This is like a movie. <laughs> if this is true, this is crazy. And of course, Merlino wants to be pardoned for the election fraud itself and any crimes to which he may incriminate himself during his testimony. He wants a clean record. He wants to fish and hunt on federal lands. He'd really like a job with the National Park Service. You need a clean record to get those things, explains one confidant. Quote, but most of all, he wants the thanks of a grateful nation for coming forward. This is, this is crazy. I'm telling you right now, this can't be real. Quote, he wouldn't mind a little fame or a lot of fame, he jokes. If he comes forward, he'll probably get a book deal and a movie franchise. Political observers believe that Merlino could sell the rights of his story to a major Hollywood production studio for more than $20 million, and a book deal could yield as much as $10 million. You have to understand the thing about Skinny Joey is that he's very charismatic and knows how to tell an enthralling story, the associate explains. He's an incredible movie narrator, and he'd perform excellent in congressional testimony. He could hit that testimony so far out of the ballpark that he becomes a superstar instantaneously. A real celebrity presence, unquote. The damning congressional testimony, being tentatively dubbed the biggest heist in political history, could make it politically impossible for the Republican-controlled legislator in Pennsylvania to certify the state's 20 electoral votes. This is a crazy story. All right, listen, again. 
Uh, I got to say, alleged, alleged, alleged. I try to reach out to the Buffalo Chronicle to see if, uh, well, you know, what was going on here or who wrote the article. But uh, salute to the guys over there at the Buffalo Chronicle. Uh, <laughs> you know, if you type up Google Joey Merlino election, this will come to the top of the screen. I don't know what this is. Let's just uh, uh, play devil's advocate here. If this is true, this is insane. And if it's just, uh, you know, if it's unproven, if it's unproven article, then uh, obviously we'll know by tomorrow, the next day that uh, somebody at the Buffalo Chronicle uh, was talking to the wrong people. But still, this is a crazy, crazy story. Mob Story Season 3. Let me know what you guys think. If you think this is even a real story. Uh, like I said, I, I, I emailed the Buffalo Chronicle. I try to get uh, some answer from them. I got a couple of people that emailed me the article, but still, again, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to call it, but uh, uh, we will see. We will definitely see what's going on, all right? Salute. Let me know what you're smoking on, and we will talk soon.